¿Cómo lo tiene? Hago música que entretiene. Mi música lo tiene fuerte bailando y se baila así. Estamos rompiendo la discoteca. La fiesta no para, pena comienza. Se cansa, se cansa. Ma chérie, la la la. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back in to Nizzy's Playhouse. It's your girl Nizzy and I'm back again with another synthetic wig review. So yes, I got another one for y'all. This one is banger, banger alert, banger alert. So if you wanna see what this one is, then make sure that y'all stay tuned. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you rocking with your girl in my YouTube journey. And while you guys are down there, make sure y'all hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever it is that I post. So let's go ahead and jump into today's wig. Today's wig was provided to me by ebonyline.com. Definitely check them, them out, you guys. I'll leave the link down below on where I got this one as well as the actual website. So check that description box, okay? This wig is a Bobby Boss's Eliza, y'all. Like, what? So recently, Bobby Boss has been coming out with these glueless lace wigs which are um, 13 by 7 synthetic lace frontals period this one is eliza i have her in the color 99j you guys so it's probably not showing off on camera but this is definitely kind of like a it's not a true 99j i'll say because i've seen 99j's that are like more you know like vibrant but this one it's like black and 99j it's like a blend or whatever um so let's talk about the cap construction of this unit so like i said is a 13 by 7 lace frontal um so you do get lace from ear to ear and y'all this seven inches of parted space like i don't even have the full seven inches parted because girl like who is gonna part they wig all the way back there like but i mean like the na the more parting space that you get the more natural it is i'm cool with the 13 by 6 the 13 by 7 like girl but i mean i guess it looks really natural especially from the side that's the whole thing when you're wearing a wig and the the part stops right there you can definitely clock that that's a wig you know but if it's this seven inches of parting space this the parting it goes right here you guys do y'all see that so yeah you can definitely not clock that this is a wig or even a synthetic wig inside of the cap you get two combs you get an elastic band you guys inside this one and um this is it's very rare you know they're, they're coming up in the game putting an elastic band in there like you really don't have to glue this down and everything but i wanted to because like I really and I have been working on my baby hair swoops and everything and I wanted to like finesse this wig so I, I glued it down with some got to be you know but you can definitely go glueless if you want as far as the hairline it is a pre-plucked realistic hairline and when when I say pre-plucked y'all I mean pre-plucked like are y'all seeing this pre-plucked action like this is a synthetic wig y'all so let's talk about the pros and the cons on this bad boy so let's go ahead like i always do let's start with the cons so we can end this video on a positive note so the cons on this wig the excessive excessive baby hair y'all like it comes with it's uh, on the stock card it says with baby hair and boy do they mean with baby hair like the baby hair you know how like in the front they come like already curled they're very thick and yeah so for this let me just tell y'all so for this look i didn't use all of the baby hairs that were provided to me so that left some baby hairs in the front if you guys can see and if you don't put some type of mousse or foam or something on it they're just gonna be like you know you you gotta tame them because like do y'all see that like it's like literally baby hair essential it's not a problem but i'm just telling y'all that's one of my cons um another con that i have with this wig you guys this this wig is i think this wig is like 30 inches or something because like it goes like down to my butt like literally it could be 27 or 30 inches it's very long don't get me wrong i love me some long wigs and i can you know 
you know break the neck and everything but with long wigs comes the tangling so that as we get into the next con tangling um it's not bad tangling it's only tangling because it's this long and you know I'm like moving and it's like you know how synthetic wigs rub against stuff and then it starts like yeah so it's long and it's rubbing against my body so yeah it's like getting a little bit but it's not out of control or anything and my other con um, this wig is not very big hair friendly um, I've seen other reviews where they say you know the whole collection is it is if you do it like how I do it I had to make a small incision on the side so that I was able to pull the lace forward um, otherwise I you know it was not laying right here which is the part that always you know jacks me I like to have a full lay meltdown melted you know what I'm saying I like for my wigs to be laid around my hairline like you know I don't want to have to bobby pin the sides and all that crap down especially if this is a unit that I'm able to you know freestyle and stuff on I want it to be laid you know and um, with this one you actually do <laughs> if you have a I have a 23 inch head you guys so <clears throat> that's definitely yeah so that's definitely why it's you know my head side now I will say this one is a little bit on the pricier side I believe it was like uh, $75 um, but like I said it's definitely worth it if you are wanting to practice laying your lace down without jacking up you know a human hair wig this is definitely the way to go so yeah let me know down in the comments box if you guys have this wig or if you're gonna try this wig and that really much wraps it up for today's video um, let me know down in the comments box what you thought and as always thanks for watching